Hey all. It's Friday. That's the thing with this industry. You think you've done everything. You think everything's sorted. And then we get a call from a family. Uh, asking us to bring a loved one into care from another funeral home. I don't know what's gone off and I don't wish to know. It's nothing to do with us. And we don't get involved. But obviously, family says, can we go today? Instantly. So, everything had to be dropped and uh, put back. So I will uh, catch up with what I were doing. I'll be late tonight, finishing now. But the main thing is, is that the family, sorry, I was just checking. The family that we are. <coughs> are, are happy that we've been. And the loved one will be in our care today. Uh, this happens quite a bit in the funeral industry. People, so it's no reflection on anyone. Funeral, it's just some. It happens sometimes. Uh, it's just one of them things. So, but the main thing is, is that the family's happy and everybody agrees. We all work for families and making sure that families get what they what they ask for, what they want. I thought to myself, just before the phone rang, oh my god, I'm going to be finishing on time today because, ironically, I've got no arrangements. I haven't got one to do. I'm going to put that top bit on. That's it. I ain't got no arrangements at all to do. So I would have finished at 4.30. I'm about an hour behind now. Uh, but it's one of them things I don't mind. I'll be done for 5.30, uh, hopefully, providing no tolls has cropped up, and then finish for weekend. Apparently, this storm's caused some damage that we're having. Uh, forgot what its name is, they give them names now, I don't they? used to call them storms when I was a kid, but now they've all got funny names. <sighs> And, uh, oh, that's why I've put this on. John and Karen, two people. I got a message today off Karen uh, saying that she watches us on YouTube, her and John. So, Karen, thanks for your message. Uh, and keep watching. Karen's lovely. She honestly is. She's a diamond of a woman. And John, he's one of the nicest blokes, John, that I know. Uh, John Bonzel, he's a great diamond, he really is. Uh, they're just lovely people. He's telling me my fuel's low. 50 miles to go. But I'm only about six, seven miles from premises, so this will get filled up next week. So anyway, back to Karen and John. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for your support. And that's the thing, it's amazing. I get some amazing support. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I, I've had a, a madly busy day today. I've had to learn how to email. I've been emailing today, I don't email. I just say ring me if you want me but needs must at the moment because when you ring up someone and nothing's getting done I've realised that you need emails because you can go back and say oh, I rung somebody and now what's happened who did you speak to and if you've wrote it on a bit of paper or somewhere in your diary you're trying to find who it were but with an email it's a lot better so I'm getting used to it. Cheryl's been showing me today in office how to do an email because I'm 59 nearly. Oh, I am 59. Uh, 
think I'm 59. I'm either 58 or 59, I don't really know. I was born in June 64, 15-6-1964. Uh, I'm not great technical with stuff like emails and that. In fact, I'm crap with calculators. I'm absolutely rubbish with calculators. I just get Cheryl to do it. It's a lot easier. Um, so, today's been a learning day. My fingers hurting. Cheryl types like, shh, shh, was mad with the old old back in office, like, shh, 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 shh. both hands going ten to a dozen. I've got a cup of tea and I've got one finger going, so. But I'll, I'll get there, I'll get there. And I've had a response from the people who I have uh, emailed. I've had a good response, which I'm very, very happy about. I can't say too much on YouTube about what we, what I'm doing in background personally, because sometimes it's best to keep your cards close to your chest. It, it really is. Take notice of an old head. You know, as they all go on social media, it's like Facebook's equivalent to Jeremy Kyle. You know what I mean? No positive on there much. It's all negativeness. But it's about time it was made into positive book, not negative book. So, anyway, like I was saying, keep me cards to me chest, best way to be. And believe me, one day soon, it'll all come out. Everything. Job lot. Names mentioned, companies mentioned. Yeah, everything. Because, to be truthful, you're not know, all that bothered about it. They don't come into my life some people and it's better to email it's a lot better anyway I'm heading back to our premises now I'm going to have a cup of tea another cup of tea and then finish my job what I've got to do and then enjoy the weekend I'm not answering you back too much, it's just that I've been busy, but I will. At some point this weekend, I'll start answering your messages back, because I do read everyone's. Uh, and I like to, I always press a like or something, and I just like to message you back, send you to put something back to you, because it's nice that. Interacting, isn't it? Being right with people. That's my advice for this weekend. Be right with people. Just be right with people. Smile and enjoy life. Because it's sad how short life is. And we go through life not realising that each day could be as last. So enjoy it. There's no point in being negative. None whatsoever. Be positive. Have an absolutely amazing weekend each and every one of you and thanks personally thank you from bottom of my heart for amazing support that you all give me as a depressed undertaker in Sheffield with mental health issues depression and that for support that you've shown I genuinely thank you for that have a brilliant weekend everyone and take care. Ta-da. I forgot my 